Yeah, hello. Uh, many times people ask me clarification on uh, what is a what is a project uh, management life cycle. Project management life cycle, uh, and uh, they want to know what is a project life cycle. project life cycle and the organization and the linkages between these things. So in this video uh, we'll explain uh, those things. <coughs> So first, let us talk about project management life cycle. So we'll talk about project management life cycle. So we were talking about initiation. First, we initiate a project. Initiation, planning, execution and monitoring and controlling. First we initiate a project, then you do the planning, then you execute the project as per the plan and throughout all these phases we have this monitoring and controlling happening. So these phases we call it as the project management life cycle. At the moment we mention project management life cycle, it is initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling and and closing. Uh, then we have uh, the the project life cycle. Uh, see now take the case of a an IT project. First you come out with the requirement phase, then the design phase, then the coding phase then the testing phase, then the handover. handover. If it is the case of a, a, a construction project, maybe feasibility study, approvals, drawings, design, or design should happen first, then a substructure, substructure, superstructure, uh, interior decoration. So this is driven by the, the engineering discipline of the project. There is no universal standard on it. So this is the project life cycle. This is the project life cycle. <coughs> so before the previous slide, we spoke about uh, project uh, project management life cycle comprised of uh, uh, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling and closing. And uh, now uh, in this uh, we were talking about uh, the project life cycle. Uh, primarily it is about the engineering phases like uh, like uh, the requirements collection, coding, uh, sorry, the low level, high level design, low level design, coding, testing, etc. Then while doing all these things, requirements, may, you need organization support uh, to, to achieve these things. So requirements, maybe business analysts from the organization may be working on HLD and LLD may be the architects from the design department may be working. Coding, okay, you need resources. You need organization support to perform these things. So uh, that is where the, the, the linkages are. So if you, when you prepare a schedule for a project, it may have activities pertaining to, uh, activities pertaining to uh, project management life cycle, 
project life cycle uh, and maybe activities pertaining to organization which is not part of these things as well. So all these things should get into your schedule, otherwise that schedule will be incomplete. For a typical example would be project management life cycle. You may have a kick of meeting. Kick of meeting. So that should come in your schedule. Then okay, you may have to perform some requirements collection. That is project life cycle. Requirements collection. And there may be an approval process for requirements. That is again part of project management life cycle. So your schedule will have both management oriented activities as well as hardcore uh, engineering activities uh, so then only the so it will have activities pertaining to project management life cycle and project life cycle and we need organization support to perform all these things so these are the linkages uh, this is how it is organized I think uh, uh, revisiting this okay if we, first we started with we wanted to cover project, we covered project management life cycle, then we spoke about project life cycle, then we spoke about uh, the organization, how the organization supports these things, and we discussed about the linkages. Uh, I hope this throws more clarity into these concepts. Another question was, like how, somebody asked me this, how many questions you will get around these uh, my reply is, okay, maybe definitely we'll get one or two questions clarifying related to these things. Uh, but again, uh, a thumb rule, while if you're preparing for the PMP exam is, whatever jargons you're hearing for the first time, I'm sure that you will get a question on it. So whenever you come across something new, please make a note of it. Uh, try to understand it. And if you are unable to understand, if you are, and if you are a registered student, uh, please get in touch with me. I can explain those concepts as well. Uh, because whenever you come across something new, first thing is okay, that is what that is that is the greatest value you are getting because you are you are coming across something new which you don't know. So you must understand it from the, an exam perspective. You will get questions on all these. Uh, jargons or new things, new terminologies which comes across. So don't ignore them. Uh, maybe you will get one or two questions, but if you miss out 10 of them, okay, you're missing out maybe 20 questions. So don't take any chances there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.